This is Neil Ratna of Rock Talk here on WDST Radio Woodstock with another episode of This Week in Rock with support from Transcend Dental and my friend, the amazing dentist and rock star Bruce Milner. Visit Transcend Dental, his stunning new office at 2 Maverick Road on the corner of Maverick Road and Route 212. On November 10th, 1975, Patti Smith released her debut studio album, Horses, an album recognized as a seminal recording in the history of the punk movement and number 26 on Rolling Stone's 2020 list of the 500 greatest albums of all time and a sellout show at UPAC in Kingston tonight. Patti was exposed to music in an early age by her mother, who had been a jazz singer. But as Smith explains, it was a trip to a museum with her father that sparked the idea of being in the arts. I first vowed to myself that I would be an artist or at least follow a calling within the arts. When I was um, 12, my father took us to an art museum in Philadelphia and I saw Picassos for the first time. And when I saw these Picassos, I don't even know what came over me, but I was so transfixed and I felt that's what I want to do. I want to do that, whatever that is. It didn't mean that I wanted to paint like Picasso. It just meant to give myself to this kind of vocation. And it changed my life. I mean, I was still the same kid, same skinny, lanky, you know, clumsy kid who just read all the time and liked to run through the fields with her dog. But in my head, I had a new, new profound joy that I was going to pursue this world. And it wasn't just that I was going to go toward it. I really felt like it called to me. It was really beautiful moment. By 1975, Patty and her band had established themselves as a popular act within the New York City underground and scored a two-month residency at the club CBGB, supporting the band television. Clive Davis attended a performance and was so impressed with Smith that he offered her a contract with his new label, Arista. Patty described the album Horses as three-chord rock merged with the power of the word. And it was Smith's experiences with her family that inspired certain songs on horses like Free Money, which was written for her mom. Patty was the youngest of four children, and her parents struggled financially. According to Smith, her mother always dreamed about winning the lottery, but she never bought a lottery ticket. She would just imagine if she won, make lists of things she would do with the money. Okay, let's listen. From the album Horses, Patty Smith and... Free money. <laughs> 